Back live at Chicago Stadium, and they are absolutely packed to the rafters here. Standing room only, the Chicago Blackhawks and the Red Wings, seventh meeting of the year. As we mentioned just a few moments ago, each team has won three games. They have split the two games here at Chicago Stadium. As the puck comes center ice, Racine moves it to Carson. He backhanded, and he is drilled by Jocelyn Lemieux from the blind side. He's got Burr with him. Robert across the line, fighting off Trent Yanni. Yanni dumps him to the ice, and a penalty coming to the Hawks. Well, I don't know if that's the penalty, though. Because Sean Burr was knocked on his rear end, and I don't think he touched the puck. And Rick Green will clear it for Detroit. Marcellio's <laughs> tried to draw a penalty, and now Dirk Graham and John Burr. Back inside his own line, plays it ahead. Both teams changing up. Burr gets it across the line, runs into Doug Wilson. Now McKay took a slap at it, passed out for Primo. He's in. Oh. Saved by Belfour. Primo was in cold, but he got in so close he didn't have a lot of room. Especially in this building. Minute and a half remaining in the penalty. What have we got? You're going to have an interference call to Probert. Again, away from the play. Robert on the power play likes to come across the uh, position blue line. The puck comes loose. Rick Green will take it back behind the zone net. Now pivots back the other way. Separated from the puck and it comes to Chelio. He moves it across. Steve Thomas lets a shot down. He scores! The Wings had a couple of chances to move that puck out. And they got a bit of a bad break. And Chelios made a great play to get it into scoring position. Steve Thomas really got some... Up on this one. No four back behind Lynette. Gives it off to Chelios. He'll be run by Probert, who knocked him off the puck. Chelios lost his stick. He comes back for the point. Now Thomas knocks it loose. Gets it back. Quick shot. A blocker saved by Hanlon. And a penalty coming up to Detroit. Delayed call. Away from the play again. Back to Ronick. Ronick moves it to Yanni. Let the shot go. Save Hanlon. Loose puck. And Brad Marsh able to back it off the board. Yanni moves it across. One timer by Manson. Save. Rebound to and a good stop there by Hanlon. Everyone. Here comes Ronick with some speed across the line. As Terry behind Hanlon moves it out to the point for Wilson across Manson. A one time and it's gone! Boy, the Hawks do that so well. They move the puck from point to point as well as any team in the league. And that's because they've got guys like Wilson and Manson. Wilson can make the play with the best of them, and Manson can shoot it with the best of them. Well, watch the way it's set up. Ronick drives all the way around the net. And they don't waste any time, and that's the big key here. It's taken by Eiserman. He's got Galan on the left, Poster on the right. Eiserman across the line. Heels away from Kuchera. Makes another move on the Czechoslovakian defense, but put it in front. Poster shot is stuck. Eisenbach tried to get it back to Federoff, intercepted by Presley. Good play there by Federoff to get back and tie up Wayne Presley. Here comes Eisenbach now. Eisenbach across the line. Look out, look out. Robert just drilling Presley because he was chopping away at Federoff, but Federoff had really drilled him with the stick. He'd had enough. He's got too many cuts in his face now, and he's going to start to fight back. Right in front of the Detroit bench. In the meantime, Probert had nailed Presley with about four punches with the glove on before they even got around. At 1945. Well, it looks like they're calling the Red Wings for too many men on the ice. Two minutes for two minutes men in the ice. The, the Red Wings get two minutes? Yeah. yeah. Blackhawk penalty, Presley, two minutes for Presley roughing. gets two for roughing. Here comes Chelios up the right wing board. Gives it off to Peluso. Let's the shot go, and he scores! And Hanlon upset with himself there. He felt he should have had that one. As Peluso scores his fourth of the year, and the Hawks have three power play goals. I don't think this one was deflected or ricocheted out in the slot. Kaleos makes the play. And Peluso just pulls up. Can't tell on that angle whether it was redirected or not. Deflected to the corner. Now Steve Thomas. He lost it. Here's better off between the circles. Back to Huda. Dumps it in wide of the goal. McGill battling with better off. Better good chance. Oh, and go for a good stop. Sure was. Puck is loose in the corner. Here's Dave Barr. Tried to dump it for Primo. It's intercepted in Peluso. Drilled by McKay. Straightened him right up, didn't he? And here comes Primo the other way. Makes a move. Let's the shot go. And go for the save. Good move there by Primo. 
Now McKay, he's got Peluso after him, looking for the return hit. Eisenman dumps it back for Gallant off the board. Gallant trying to get loose. Right out in front to Eisenman. The shot, oh. and he missed it on oh. the short side, trying to go up high. The pass was behind Carson, and on a line change, here come the Hawks. Weimer big, slides it across. Open net. And Greer got a stick out of receipt, clears it ahead. Detroit zone, and we got Lemieux and Primo, and now Barr comes over. See, Lemieux plays a rough game, but he won't he won't tangle with anybody. He's an antagonist. He's just a, he's one of my SDs that I talked about. Who's that? Hudson and McKay, and Hudson really hit McKay with a stick, and now we've got Chelios and McKay. Yeah, but McKay doesn't want Chelios. He wants Hudson to got the stick up on him. Better off, able to get away from Presley's attempt to check lead pass for Burr. He drops it back for Dallas with a shot save made by Belfour. Wings use the late man there. Here's better off behind the goal. Taken down by Manson. Ryan Murray with his hand. In the net. In the net. What do we got? I think the puck's in the net. And the light go on. Burr's going over. He's going nuts. But the puck was in the goal. And McCurry, where's he pointing? To the right face out circle. Replay. Gold Judge never turned the light on. His only job is to turn it on as soon as that puck goes in the net. Whenever it goes in. That's right. Or after the whistle, because he can't really hear it from the crowd either. Watch Belfort put his hand down when Yanni tucks it into him. And now you say, well, when does the whistle go? There's the, the thing on it right there. The puck's in the net. Oh, There's no yeah. question about I mean, it. it was, uh... And the whistle hadn't gone. Wow. Unless it was a quick whistle. Knocked by Berg, and it was, should have been a goal. Here comes Dirk Graham. He lets one go. Save Hanlon. Big rebound up in the air. Left it in the corner. Thomas sweeps it behind the net. Rona got it, but Goulet shot blocked by Marsh. Goulet drops it back to the line. McGill lets it go. Hanlon the save, and he'll cover up the puck. Primo wins the drop. Peluso and McKay. They're going they're eye go. to eye, and they're going to go. Peluso, a lefty. He lands a couple. McKay trying to tie him McKay's up. just taking him. He, he's just taking the punches, waiting to get his chance at him. <laughs> Big size difference with Peluso. He got several in early, but... No hurt on either side, really, by either guy. 6.14 to go. Now it's Iserman at center between Fedorov and Isobard. As again, Ryan Murray trying to get as much offense out there with his top two lines as he possibly can. Fedorov digs it loose off the boards. He cuts right in, drops it back. Iserman save, rebound! Did not get through. Goulet is ducked, and he appears to be shaken up, but the play continues as Thomas comes in down the right wing. He'll send it back to the line. Chelios leans into this one, and Hamlin steers it aside. Eiserman at point-blank range. First one was stopped definitely by Belfort. I don't think the second one got through. Getting control. No cut into the Chicago zone. Eiserman holds up, sends it to Fedorov. Fedorov centering pass right in front. Belfort has it under his pad. Drive to the top. Draw to Fedorov. Shot and a save there by Belfort. He looked around to see where it was. Gosselin Lemieux backhands it into the Detroit zone. Lemieux tries to draw the penalty. This will be held in. Doug Wilson, a shot deflected, and Hamlin had to move back to his right to make the save as the puck goes out of play. Wings 3, 26, and 2. When they trail after two periods of play. And conversely, the Hawks are 28, 3, and 2. Well, it says they're 33, 1, and 2. I looked the wrong place on the stat sheet. Is blocked. Hot force a turnover with some aggressive four checking, but Heiserman gets it ahead now to better off. One on one against Chelios. Lost his footing there. Chelios checked Eisenbard in front for Eisenman, trying to get it to settle. Now the shot, he scores! The one they wanted early, right there. Eisenman breaks the shutout. Nobody home for the Hawks. And Eisenman has had two or three good scoring chances. For Eisenman. Number 42 on the year. I think that's the fourth year in a row. Four, four in a row that Eisenman has 40 been 40-plus 
And that ties the record, I believe. Or no, he's got he's the, the record. Only Red Wing to do that. That's amazing. Eisenman sends it back out. Racine dumps it in front. And Belfour, I think, had to get a piece of that. Zombo shot through a crowd. Loose there. Prober trying to dig it out. And we got a whistle to stop playing. Kuchera coming in, pushing against Prober. There's Grimson over there against the glass with Prober. And again, Prober's at the end of his shift. Up to center ice. Dulé checked hard there. Was he ever rammed into the board by Primo? The Curry didn't see it. Primo gave him a check and then a push with the glove in the back of the head. Dulé, I'm not sure, took a stick in the face, but what, it may have been his own. See what happens here. Primo hits Dulé. Oh, it was Primo stick. Primo stick and the follow through yeah. carried right across uh, the side of his face. You're a rugged hockey player. And Goulet now getting off the towel on his face. And you got to be kidding me. I think McCreary is going to send Galen off by himself. Manson holds it in here for the Hawks. Lemieux lost it to Isobard, who kicks it ahead for Eiserman. Across the line. Eisenman peels back, being chased by Yanni. Now the pass goes to Eisenman. Right in front for Marsh. He scores. Bingo. Brad Marsh, his first goal. Look of at Marsh. Look at him. <laughs> oh, Marsh. The veteran who's not supposed to be up there doing anything offensively found himself in the slot in front of Belfour, and there's nobody home. Yeah, all the Hawks are over the other side. They vacate Belfour again, and Marsh tucks it underneath. Belfour, we got a 3-2 game with almost 13 minutes to go. <laughs> this is... Is anybody happier? Look at him. He had played 82 consecutive games without scoring a goal. Marsh is first of the year at 7-12. Here's Carson with a chance there. and a save there by Look Belfour. Back Larmer. the other way comes Larmer. Green has the angle on him. Drop pass for running back for Larmer. Couldn't handle it cleanly. Now they dump it right in front, and Rick Green is there to intercept. Well, Gilbert's got Troy Murray with him. The late man coming. Kuchera lets the shot go. A blocker saved by Hanlon. Kuchera's stick came right down on McKay's head. Yeah, it's going to be a penalty. Yeah. Graham had to kill some time. Checked by Racine, and Fedorov comes up with the loose puck. Red Wings' third power play of the hockey game. Lead pass for Eiserman. Carries into the zone. Eisenbach cuts for the net. The pass across. Comes to Fedorov for the drive. Go! Bingo, bingo. Here you go. Listen to this place. <laughs> Listen to this place. You think there are some moving fans here? <laughs> Power play Ooh. goal, and I think it's better off all the way. It hit something on the way through. Yeah, it did. It may have been the sound of Belfour's stick. I'm not sure, this, but better off really leans into it. Watch this. He, Belfour doesn't have any idea where it's going. It went oh. right between the legs. It's by him before he can get down. And it's a brand new ball game starting all over. 3-3 three, three, with 10.54 to go in the third period. Holy mackerel. Well, the Chicago fans try to respond now. 28th of the year for Federoff. Boy, that bench when that goal went in. You thought they were in a playoff game. He just won an overtime. Penalty Chicago coming again. On a hook to get Primo. In front of Not dead Hunt. yet. It's a, oh. still not gone yet. The whistle hasn't. There it goes now. That whistle hadn't blown. No, it had It has not blown. We don't want to negate their power play here. Russo wants to get at uh, McKay smartly saying thanks a lot, but no thanks. That was somebody going on. That puck was laying there. and gonna the whistle. It's going to be a penalty against the Wings now. The question is, is it's it going to be a double or a single? Well, the original penalty was against Chicago and Manson for knocking down big Keith Primo. It comes down to Koser, who comes out of the ice. He'll carry into the Chicago zone, moves it to Eisenbart. Eisenbart in front for Koser! Belfour! Cradles the puck Ooh. as he makes a big stop there. It really was. Pass goes to Carson, backhands it. Koser couldn't get the stick on it. Here's Carson again. It comes back to Zamba. Walks in for the shot. Ooh. Save, Belfour. Moves it ahead now. Veronic with some speed. Back for Goulet. That was broken up. Comes to the side of the net. Larmer was dumped. Out to Doug Wilson. Quick shot and a save by Hamlin. And the wing's able to chop it out of there. 
Shots are now 24-22 in favor of Detroit. Ooh, geez, did Goulet ever get an elbow in the Zombo? Plays it off the boards for Iserman. He's got Racine on the left side. He hits yes. it with the pass. Racine with a drive. Save down for it. And Chelios able to knock the loose puck away. And here come the Hawks. Thomas has Dirk Graham up the right side. Graham with the blast. He hits the goal. Thomas, Thomas broke his stick on the open net. He's Whoa. the open net. And here comes the wing three on two the other way. Iserman across the line. Makes the fake. What a chance again, Eiserman save, rebound, oh. set wide by Eisenberg, better off in front for Eiserman, and he is checked on the play by Miguel. Look at this, it's crazy. Holy cow! Oh, yeah. Dirk Graham hits the post, Steve Thomas breaks the stick, and then better off hits the crossbar. Gilbert dumps it in for Jocelyn Lemieux, he's tied up by Zombo. Presley was all alone in front for a moment, here's Presley, a wrap around a tip, oh. just oh. wide. Now Gilbert. Nobody's hurt. They're going to blow that whistle. It was a primo, I yes. think. He's down in the slot. Here comes Presley. Watch this thing. Like he's got it on a string. Right there. Oh, it's the follow through and Presley right there. The high stick that caught primo in the mouth. Gallant. Checked there by the. going to be a penalty to match it. And Gallant almost retaliated. Now, if they can hang out of this puck for any length of time, the rest of the game will be shorthanded for Chicago. His pass did not get through. And Probert trying to break loose. Three of them here. Gets it across the line. Here's Fedorov. Drops it back. Eyes him in a shot save. Loose puck. Probert going after it. And Chelios comes after him. It's not going to happen in this game, Chris, but your number is just being noted. There's where, is that Chelios? Yep. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Carson gets it into the zone. Drops it back for Iserman. Iserman, the shot reader. Oh, he's the post. post. Carson behind the net, stops Let's it out here. Front. It's in a pick Gilbert's by away. Gilbert. Iserman's going to catch him, though. Picked up by Dirk Graham. His shot on the short side just missed. And Andrew Ooh. chops it away. Here's better up. 15 seconds left in the third. The pass to Iserman. In front, Carson Mr. couldn't get it. It went through him. 10 seconds left. Hawks are back at full strength. Wings Ooh. trying to keep the pressure on. Here come the Hawks. Two chairs to the right. Two, one. That's it. Well, the Wings come close even after the power play had expired. Hanlon comes. He'll clear it off the glass. Bounces to Kuchera. His shot. That hit Burr. Knocked down in front. Still a loose puck. And a shot right on and a save by Hamlin on Dirk Graham. Here's Hudson. He's got a man in the circle. Chelios. Oh, what a save, save there by Hamlin. Oy, oy, oy. Chelios teed Point it up. Blank. They'll take a nice thing here. One cleanly by Hudson. The shot did not get through. It comes right back. Oh. Hanson, he's open for the drive. He hit the outside of the goal post. On center ice, drives it in wide of Hamlin. Lucene plays it off the glass. Look out, a bad hop. bad hop there. The Hawks center it. Loose puck. That's wide of the net. Oh, what a... Hawks have it again, but it's knocked away by Burr. Rosine will play it around the board. Heiserman and Manson got there at the same time. It is held in at the point. A shot save. Oh, and, and one again. And Zero. the buzzer. Hey, look out of there. That's as good as a win, I'll tell you right now. The last 40 seconds, the Hawks all over Detroit, and Hanlon made a couple of dandy saves. And you can bet the Red Wings will take this one. There are three straight more coming up on the road, and after trailing three zip, there's a bad hop off the glass right there. Presley tries to finish it. It lays there, just barely gotten to by the wings before Larmer. Six shots for Chicago in the overtime. None for the Red Wings. So it was all Glenn Hanlon preserving the 3-3 tie. And we'll be back with our Miller High Life shining moment right after this.